The Taiwan External Trade Development Council, or TITRA, has launched a major new trade alliance which aims to deepen links between the United States and Taiwan. Just on the heels of the Taiwan visit of U.S. Health Minister Alex Azar, which also featured a heavy focus on economic cooperation, the Taiwan-U.S. Business Alliance launched on Thursday. More than a thousand Taiwanese companies are already involved, including state-owned giants like CPC and Tai Power. Okay, Led by TITRA Chairman James Huang, chiefs of Taiwanese industry line up on stage to mark the launch of the Taiwan-U.S. Business Alliance. At the flick of a switch, the number 1,000 lights up, representing more than 1,000 Taiwanese firms that have already joined the alliance. I hope that as coronavirus recedes, we can launch our action plan as soon as possible, holding workshops for Taiwan-U.S. trade exchange in Taiwan. We also hope to organize a trip to the U.S. for our corporate members to support businesses to develop in the U.S. market. The United States is a very important trade partner for Taiwan. For example, last year we were the U.S.'s 10th largest trade partner. We can see many important firms from the U.S. and Taiwan have all joined the alliance. I believe this platform will give these companies and industries opportunities to exchange. The alliance will focus on developing trade, investment, industry, talent and entrepreneurship. When the pandemic is in the past, organizers hope to set up a marketing center in the states and hold exchange trips with 500 American companies to catalyze collaborations. Before leaving Taiwan, U.S. Health Minister Azar spoke about the need for the states to establish strategic domestic production networks. Huang is positive about Taiwan's role in that process. One area is public health and disease prevention. Another is next-generation communication technology such as 5G and data security. If the U.S. is building strategic production networks, these two industries should be the priority. Both are Taiwan's forte and specialty. With Azor's visit focusing on trade developments and now the alliance forming, it looks like a golden age of Taiwan-U.S. trade may be dawning.